What's up, guys? We're back with another update. We'll start this one off with Alex Pereira giving some comments after his loss to Izzy. Here's what he had to say. I'm just here to let you know that I'm fine. I want to thank my family, my team, and all the people who are supporting me during my journey. Now I just have to rest and continue with the plans that are already on motion. Thanks, God. So we'll see what's next for Pereira. Dana White commented on this saying that he's expecting him to move up to 205. Israel said the same thing in his post-fight interview. He's expecting Pereira to move up to 205. He thinks he's going to give that division a lot of trouble. He also said that he's not going to give Pereira an immediate rematch. He mentioned that he gave him a fast track to the title and that he defended the belt seven times. His path was much harder. Now Pereira has to go back and earn it. But again, a lot of people are saying that Pereira has too much trouble cutting down this much weight. So he's going to move up to 205. Maybe we'll never get that fifth fight. Izzy also talked about playing dead in front of Pereira's kids, saying that he remembered when Pereira's kids did that to him back in kickboxing. So he just wanted to remind his son. But it seems like they finally squashed the beef. There's a video of them hugging it out backstage. There's also a video TMZ posted of Adesanya celebrating at a Miami club. If you guys want to check those videos out, there's links down below. For our next update, we got Gilbert Burns accusing Masvidal of cheating. Here's what he had to say. 100% I do believe he was greasing. I know those old tricks those guys do. You know what they do? They wake up on Saturday, they take the first shower, and they put a lot of lotion on the body. The skin absorbs the lotion, and then after three hours, you do it again. Whenever you start sweating, a lot of the lotion comes out. For sure, he did that. 100% he did that. I'm telling you. He went on to say, I'm not telling you maybe. 100% he was so slippery. Whenever you guys are watching the highlights, you're going to see his skin bright. That guy, I got to give it to this guy. He does all the tricks. So let me know what you guys think of these comments from Burns. He's definitely not the type of guy to make this stuff up, especially when Masvidal's retiring. Jorge also caught some backlash from Leon Edwards. He tweeted this out, effing bum. Jorge fumbled the bag once again. None of them really deserve it. Who should I fight next? And for our last update, we just got Kevin Holland talking about having second thoughts walking into his fight yesterday. He said that he actually messaged his mom asking her if he should even be fighting. And even though he had won the fight, he admitted he needed to take some more time to do smart recovery. He just fought Wonderboy four months ago where he fractured his hand. He also joked that he'd come back in a month if he was fighting Michael Chiesa. So those are all the updates we got for today. If you guys want quick news like this, make sure to follow along. Hope to see you guys in the next one.